Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to talk about macro and micro tasks. Now a micro task is one that will complete straight away after your code block completes. So these are asynchronous tasks basically and, and how and when they're handled. So when your code completes, a micro task will complete without the browser getting a chance to jump in and do any of the things that it would like to do, like refresh the page. Whereas a macro task, that will allow the browser to complete all of the tasks that it's got queued up before executing your task. Got a code pen here. Let's have a quick look just so we can get a feel for it. Okay, the first thing I'll do is create a macro task. Now, a good example of that is the set timeout. So if we just create a quick function in here and have it literally just log out and we'll say task one completed there. You can see that coming up in our, our list here. So that's a macro task. So when this block of code completes, that will then run. So let's let's just put a, a console log in here and say um, main code completed. Let's clear that down. So what we should see here is because oh, this is an asynchronous task, the timeout, so that'll get queued and it'll get run once this whole block has completed. So we should see main code completed and then our task one completed afterwards. So if I just uh, change that, which is it here. So yeah, main code completes, then our asynchronous task completes as well. Okay, let's add in now a micro task. So I'll create a promise. And a promise takes a resolve and a reject. And we'll just get that to complete immediately. See, so similar to the timeout, these tasks are taking no time to complete, but they are being queued ready for the browser to, to run them when it feels ready to do so. Uh, let's clear all that down in a minute. Okay, so let's then do promise task and get that to complete. Well, get that to log out when it completes so we can see. So we'll call that task two. Like so. Clear that down. All right, if I just put an enter in here, we should get a clean run. I just want one in there, so we'll just do that. So what have we got this time? Again, the whole block completes. So we get main code completed. Then our asynchronous code gets a chance to run. And what we're seeing is task two, even though it was added and run after task one, is actually completing before task one. And the reason for that is that it is a micro task. And this micro task queue will run before any macro tasks and before the browser can jump in and do anything. Um, okay, so that, you know that's that is the difference between micro and macro. It's not something you 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 you're going to use as such, but it's very useful to to have in the back of your head and to understand how that works. Um, you know, it links into the whole how the event loop works and, and the browser and, and pulling off the tasks. So I'll put a link in to a, a very good video by Jake Archibald on the event loop if you want to look more into this sort of thing. Um, but it, it can help when you're, say, trying to split up long-running tasks. If you want to be able to split them up with a timeout, then, you know, and display the progress of that task, then you know with a timeout, it's a macro one, and so each time you queue a new one, you're going to get a refresh and see it. But, you know, if you've done it with micro tasks, then, yeah, you can split your long running operation up, but you're not going to get the uh, output shown on the screen because it will never refresh. 
Uh, so, there you go. Macro versus micro. I heard that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, click that subscribe and the alert icon if you want to be alerted for new videos as well. Thanks very much. Bye.